Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Little Tika and Big Eats. As always, I'll be your host, Ari, and on tonight's family dinner menu, we are having one of our favorite dishes to order as takeout, but at home, and that is General Tao's chicken with pork fried rice. So, let's begin. All right, guys. So, first thing is first. I usually do not like to microwave fresh veggies in order to cook them, but in order to facilitate and expedite this process, we are going to do just that. So I've already chopped up half a crown of broccoli and two big carrots, okay, into thin slices, and I've placed them together in this uh, bowl. So what we're going to do is just fill it up with some water, enough to cover it, okay? And then we are going to place this in our microwave for six minutes. So it may cook or break down apart a little bit, the carrots and the broccoli. Beautiful. Nice and full. So let's place this right into our microwave. And let's set that up for six minutes. That should also allow us some more space on our stove top, so it does also facilitate it in that sense. Next, we are going to be making the pork fried rice, so of course we have got to start with our usual one cup of white basmati rice. I've already placed two cups of water in our rice pot, and I'm bringing it to a boil. So again, like always, let's add in a little bit of salt and pepper. Nice sprinkle. We don't want too much flavor right now. We'll be adding it later on. Beautiful. And a tiny bit of olive oil. Perfect. Now just place the top right back on. And let's let it wait for it to become, well, to come to a boil. So. Next, guys, I've already prepped my two chicken breasts that we're going to be using today for the General Tao's chicken. So, let's carefully put this right here. And we are going to thin slice these breasts. So, place your hand on top, curl those fingers, and let's begin. They don't have to be perfect. They just have to be about a quarter of an inch thick in order to cook them evenly, faster, and so that they may, may be very tender, and so that they may be the perfect bite. Beautiful. This should yield about four nice big servings, but if you'd like six, by all means, use three chicken breasts, though the ones I'm using are pretty big. Perfect. Some may come out a little thicker than others, and that's okay. Be very careful towards the end, and make sure that they're all separating, okay? Ooh, that one's a little slippery. Perfect. And now, we're going to just pick these up, place them right back on our plate, and we're going to repeat that step with our second breast. There you go. Now, we will not be dipping these in egg batter, but rather coating them with just our flour mixed with some seasonings. Beautiful. Oh, our water is boiling already. Let me get this. Beautiful. So you're just going to place those right back on that plate. We need them a little moist, okay? Let's remove this right here. And mm, let's remove these gloves for now. Next, let's go right ahead and pour in our measured cup of rice. Beautiful. We're going to give that a good stir. We are going to place that lid right back on and we're going to let it come to a boil again, which should only take 30 seconds to a minute tops. But now, 
we have our chicken. So I like to work with a lot of space and usually I would put these in a Ziploc bag with the flour, but I find that they don't coat well. So we're gonna do it this way this time. Beautiful, let's check that water. It's already at a boil, so we're gonna reduce that flame to a low flame. And we're gonna set up our timer for our trusty 11 minutes. Beautiful, guys. So, now, we're going to grab our flour. And we're just gonna sprinkle it into our Pyrex dish, which is so much easier to work with. And we can always add a little more flour if we need it later on, but you know, we'll get there. So next, I am going to sprinkle in some ooh, onion powder, which by the way, guys, I got new little seasoning containers. They're all labeled though, and I'll always let you know what brands I'm using. I'm still using Mimi's products. I love them. Okay, so we're gonna sprinkle that in. Then garlic powder. Beautiful. Paprika for sure. Ooh, it's a little stubborn today. Perfect. As always, I have labeled this Cajun Spice, however, put the sticker for Mimi's products back there because this is our favorite, our soul seasoning. And we're definitely going to add some of this in here for that flavor, for that salt and those spices. Beautiful. Ooh. And then a little bit of brown cumin. I love just the sprinkle of it. I told you guys I can always taste it in all our dishes, you know? And then a sprinkle of salt and a sprinkle of black pepper. Beautiful. Oh, that's our timer for our carrots and our broccoli. So let's take a look at it. Ooh, let's just scooch that over. I like to use a fork to poke at it and see if it's cooked enough. I can already feel the carrots need a little more and so does the broccoli. So I'm pretty comfortable repeating another six minutes. Let's just press that and there it goes. We still have now eight minutes for the rice. But let's keep on working with our chicken. We're going to go ahead and we're going to whisk all those seasonings right in there, right into our flour. Make sure it's all properly mixed. And this can be a little bit of a messy part, but it definitely is a necessary process and a necessary step. All right, now give it a good shake. Next, we're gonna grab our slices of chicken and we're just gonna toss them in there. Preferably not on top of each other so that they may get coated evenly, okay? As I mentioned, we're not using egg batter, so we really need the juices, the natural juices of the chicken to pick up this flour. Oh, that's a big piece, that's a big piece, all right. Beautiful. Now let's grab paper towels. And with a spoon, you can just go right ahead and start mixing them. And we're gonna do this in batches, guys, as to make sure that everything, everything is coated and not piling together. Beautiful. And I find that doing it this way is so much easier all right see perfect so now we're gonna grab a dish in which we are gonna place the chicken pieces that have already been coated so by all means feel free to pick them out with your fingers shake them off all that excess flour all 
right. Make sure you separate them so that everything is nicely coated, like I mentioned, okay? Oh, another piece. Give that a good shake again and repeat this step, coating all our pieces. Beautiful, guys. This is one of my favorite, favorite dishes, as I mentioned, to order as takeout, but why not make it at home? It's quite doable. All right, once again, we're just gonna flip these around, make sure that they're getting coated in all that flour. Can get a little messy, but we can always clean up. Beautiful. And you can always scoop up some of the flour and just kind of sprinkle it on top. Perfect. Now, let's pick those out, shake them off, any excess. Delicious. And it's such a hot day, you guys. I'd rather be cooking at home than going anywhere. <laughs> Let's see. And once again, guys, let's toss in the rest of our pieces. Beautiful. And let's see. I recognize that I did not slice these correctly, so I'm just going to go ahead and slice that real fast because we don't want to waste any of this chicken. We're going to need it. Oh, that one's a little toughy. There you go. And as you can see, I'm not using my gloves, but this is only for myself and my husband today. So I can definitely just go without the gloves. Beautiful. Such an easy way to coat these pieces. and to ensure that they're all covered. There you go. Check your flour, make sure you're not leaving any pieces behind. And since we're done with this, we're just gonna place it back here, as well as this dish. We don't need that anymore. Oh, little piece lost. I'm gonna put that chicken to the side and let's wipe up our counter. All that flour and seasonings that may have spilled out. Now let's rinse off our fingers. And now the broccoli is and the carrots are on their last minute, guys. And the rice has three minutes left. Let's grab a couple more paper towels. This is getting a little messy. Now I do usually like to fry up my chicken in a pan, but for the sake of having some depth for the oil and more space to work with, I am going to be using a pot. So what we're going to do next is grab our coconut oil or your olive oil if you'd like, and we're just going to make sure that we pour it in, and it's about a half an inch, okay, high, so that we can properly um, coat with the oil our pieces of chicken and cook them evenly. We're going to then place this over the countertop and we're going to mm, light it to a medium flame. Let the coconut oil uh, come to the necessary temperature that we need it. Now, our carrots and broccoli are steaming hot, so let's be very careful at this point. And let's use our trusty tools and let's see if it's fully cooked. Oh, it's looking a little softer. Let's grab our fork and poke. Okay, so yeah, the broccoli is feeling softer. What about these carrots? Definitely, the carrots are feeling softer too. Beautiful. So, this water is quite hot still, so what we're going to do is, we're going to set it to the side, you guys. Right behind us. And
and we're gonna just let the veggies keep cooking in this temperature. Perfect. Now our rice has one minute left. Let's check it out. Let's take a good look at that. Bring it right over. Beautiful. It does have some moisture at the bottom. So we're going to place it right back on that flame. We are going to raise that flame now to a medium flame. And we're going to add three minutes as to dry up the juices or the water, the moisture that's still sitting at the bottom of that pan under that rice. Okay? Beautiful. Now, we all know that trick. We spoke about it before. With our trusty wooden spoon, we are going to go ahead and dip it into the oil. And if the oil starts to bubble around the spoon, then we know that we're ready to toss in our chicken. So let's just do that now, though. I'm not sure that that'll be ready. All right, guys. Nope. We're going to have to give it maybe another two minutes for it to come to the temperature that we need. Now, I'm going to move this over here. Once the rice is ready, we are going to be using um, a couple of veggies for our pork fried rice. Now, first and foremost, I do not have pork, but I do love to um, chop up three slices of ham, like deli ham, and tossing it in there because it still provides that little bit of, you know, ham pork flavor we're looking for. So, that's that. Now, we have half a red pepper chopped, half a small onion chopped, and a quarter of a bunch of cilantro chopped as well as our garlic, our alfalfa sprouts. This is one of my husband's choices. He loves it in there. He loves the crunch and the green uh, in the rice. So we're going to be tossing that in there. And for this rice, I love some egg in there. So we have two eggs that we'll be tossing in there as well. Okay. And don't forget guys, our soy sauce. Pork fried rice needs that soy sauce. So let's check on this rice. It now has one minute left. And yes, all the water has been cooked off. We want this dry. So we're gonna place that right back. We're gonna shut down that flame and we'll let it cool down. Let's take a look at the oil now. Yep, our oil is now bubbling around the bottom of our wooden spoon, which means we are ready to toss in some of the chicken. Now, for this part, we don't want to toss all the chicken in there because it's not going to cook uh, evenly, so we're going to do this in batches, guys. So very carefully, grab those pieces and toss them in there. Shake them off because they can tend to stick to each other. Beautiful. That was our timer for our rice. Oh, that looks gorgeous, you guys. And again, make sure we're not piling them on top of each other. So this might take about three batches, okay? Beautiful. And these, we are going to cook. I'm gonna, they, are, they are all submerged under the oil, so we don't have to flip them. So I'm going to say that we're going to cook all of these for about three to five minutes, okay? So set your timer up for five, but check it at three. And make sure that they're brown, like browning on the outside, and white and tender in the middle, all right? And we're going to repeat this step for as many batches as we need to, okay? We'll come back and I'll show you how this one came out. All right, guys, we have about 13 seconds left on our first batch of um, chicken pieces, okay? Now, I do see them browning, 
they are cooking very well, but we've been cooking them for five minutes now. I'm gonna go ahead with a fork, very carefully pick out your biggest piece in here. Look at that. We're going to let that cool for a moment, but I do wanna see if it is cooked in the middle. So we're gonna just Drop that open and it looks nice white. The juices are running clear. And I'm there to take a bite. Mm hmm. Pretty good. Let's put that back there. Let's give it a good stir. Oh, it's looking beautiful. But then I guess at this point, I would say that we're cooking them for six minutes just to be on the safe side, okay? Like six minutes in total. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now, we are gonna go ahead and use our trusty tools to drain that oil. We have a plate ready with paper towels to absorb all that excess oil. We don't want to make this dish too oily. So we're going to just shake that and place it right here. Pull out all those pieces. Beautiful. Take a look at that, guys. Gorgeous. They're browning. They're almost a little orangey. That's going to be very delicious. Now, let's repeat again. Another batch. Let's toast those in. Make sure we're not piling them on top of each other so they can cook as good as the first batch. Try to fit in a couple. Look around, find those little empty spots in which you can toss them in. I think that's it, and I think that'll be our last batch, okay? Let's grab our wooden spoon, make sure everything is coated with that oil. And that they're not sticking on top of each other. There you go. And once again, guys, we're going to do five minutes. But if you need that six minute, you're going to add it on. Then we're going to pick them out, drain them, place them right in our dish. And we'll come back when we're done with all of our chicken. Cheers. All right, guys. So now all our chicken is done. It's nice and golden looking. It's beautiful. So, very carefully, I have shut off our flame, but we're going to now transfer this very hot oil into our glass container so it may cool down, all right? Because we are going to be using this pan or this pot again. We're going to wipe down any excess oil that may have it out on the sides and we're just going to put this in a safe place to cool down and then we'll get rid of it properly but far away from us now we are going to go ahead and revisit our veggies our veggies have been sitting in that steaming water so now we're just going to drain them okay so very carefully grab a strainer and drain those beautiful we do not want any of the water that was in there, okay? Let's put those back in there. Perfect. So next, guys, we are going to go ahead and start working with both the stir-fried rice and our general towels. This is what we're going to do. Let's remove that lid. And we're going to 
light this pot to a medium flame. All right. Just double check that flame. Next, this is going to be our general Taos pot. And this is going to be our pan for our stir fried rice. So, in our general Taos pot, we are going to go ahead and sprinkle in a little bit of olive oil. Perfect. And let that heat up. Next, we are going to be tossing in our vegetables along with our very delicious, and I hope I don't butcher this up, it's House of Tang or Chang Stir Fry General Taos Sauce. I found this at ShopRite for $5. It goes a long way, and it really, really takes care of a lot of steps in this dish. It's our go-to for sure. Beautiful. Now, we're gonna go ahead and toss in our veggies. Hear that sizzle. Give those a good stir. Perfect, guys. And also, we are going to start working with our stir-fried rice and our trusty pan. Look how beautiful, giant, easy to work with, okay? We are not going to be using the lid. So, let's make sure we bring this one to um, a medium flame as well. And in there, we're also going to be tossing in some of our olive oil. We're not going to be using coconut oil for this one because we want the rice to crisp up a bit. And olive oil burns at a, a lesser temperature than the coconut oil does. Beautiful. Now, while that pan is coming to the temperature that we need it, we're still going to go ahead and start tossing in our peppers, our onions, our ham, our cilantro, a tablespoon of our lovely garlic, Beautiful. And we're going to go ahead and give this pan a nice stir. And this is what it should be looking like. So just make sure that everything is coated in that oil. Give it a nice stir. Beautiful. And just place it right back over that flame. Let's put that rice back there. We'll be using it shortly. But our veggies are now heating up. So what we're going to do next is introduce our chicken. Let's just put that all in there. Beautiful. Some of it might get stuck onto the paper towels. Just feel free to peel it off. I'm going to bring this right over so you guys can see it. Veggies, chicken, gorgeous. Next, we're going to go ahead and pour in our sauce. Pour that right over on top. And we're going to add a little bit of water. I'm going to say a fourth of a cup into our jar. Okay, we're going to give that a good shake. Let's wash out all that sauce that was stuck in our jar. And then we're only going to pour in about half. There you go. If we need some more, we'll just add that on later on. Now this is exactly how it should be looking so far. Next, 
We're going to go in with our sesame seeds. I love sesame seeds, guys. And I believe it's the last bit that I have. Oh, very few. So we're just going to sprinkle those right in there. Perfect. And take a look at this, guys. Give that a good stir. Oh, it's looking beautiful. And we have those, the broccoli, the carrots in there too with our seeds and the sauce. The chicken still has a nice crunch to it and very little breading. But enough to get that flavor you're looking for. Beautiful. Everything is coated. And we're just going to put it right over our flame. But this time we are going to bring it down to a low flame. Just let it heat up. Next, let's bring over our stir fried rice pan. Let's give that a good stir. Everything is cooking properly. So now what we're going to do is introduce all our rice into this pot. So just pour it right in there. I love these. Look, nothing sticks, guys. Let's move that right over. Let's give it a nice stir. Beautiful. And it should be looking like this. Now, we're going to add some of the alfalfa sprouts. These can get messy, okay? And you don't have to add these if you don't like the crunch. But there you go. I do, and so does my husband. So we're going to just pull it apart. And we're going to just toss that in there into the rice. Pull it apart as best as you can. I'm going to add a little more. Beautiful. It can't get messy once again. But we're cooking. Beautiful. And next, we're going to go ahead and add one-fourth of a cup of soy sauce. In this case, I'm using um, La Choy All-Purpose Soy Sauce Original. I also found this at ShopRite for about four bucks. So I like to pour it into my measuring cup first because we don't want to over-salt this, okay? But we are going to do one-fourth of a cup. There you go. That should be more than enough. And we're going to just sprinkle that in there. If you feel you need a little more, by all means, add it. But we're going to introduce this right over again to our flame. And we're going to give it a good stir. Make sure that everything is properly mixing, okay? And that our rice is getting the color that we're looking for. Yep, it's browning. It's absorbing all that salt, all that flavor. And don't forget, we're working with peppers and onions too, which definitely flavor our dish, okay? Keep mixing that in. We want it to start sizzling. Don't be afraid to break apart the sprouts because they can gather together. They can bunch up too. Now, for this, I am going to add half a pack of the Goya reduced sodium chicken bouillon for that little extra flavor but only half guys remember soy sauce is quite salty we're going to sprinkle in a little bit of onion powder and a little bit of that salt food seasoning beautiful Give it another good stir. We want that very flavorful. Oh, I see the ham. It's delicious. Let's take another look at it. It's looking gorgeous, guys. Just make sure everything is mixing in there. It takes a while to see the soy sauce browning the rice, but trust the process. Don't add too much more. Mm. 
And I am going to go ahead and taste it at this point. I want to see how it's turning out. Oh, wait, let me get some more rice. Mmm, perfect, guys. Introduce that right over that flame. Add a little bit more, a sprinkle or a spiral of that olive oil because we need it to sizzle. We need it to crisp up. Beautiful. Now let's check our chicken. Our general towels is ready to go. We're just heating up that sauce, so give that a good stir. Oh, it's beautiful. And I'm just gonna raise that flame a tiny bit, but I'm gonna set my timer for about two minutes. And once that timer goes off, we're done cooking this general towels, okay? Let's place that lid right back on here. And we're hearing the rice sizzle. Beautiful. So, this is the trick, guys. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna pull that pan with our rice and we're gonna push the rice to the sides of the pan and we're gonna make a nice little circle there. Put in a little bit of olive oil and we're gonna crack these two eggs in there because we want those eggs to really, really cook well in the middle and then mix into the rice, okay? Let's bring that right over. And as I explained, we're just gonna go ahead and push that rice to the sides, to the sides. We are now going to put in a little more olive oil in the middle. And we're gonna crack these eggs. Beautiful. Let's crack the other. Beautiful. All right. And with our very wooden spoon, we're just gonna beat those eggs right in the middle mix them into the yolk with the egg white there you go and let's put that right back on our plate now that's going to cook our eggs we have about 15 seconds left for the general towels so let's just stop that timer now you guys that should be deliciously perfect at this point let's keep in mind that we are cooking these eggs in there so like you would scramble eggs with any pan, you're just gonna work them, work them and scramble them into the pan until they're fully cooked. Don't try to mix these eggs until they're fully scrambled in the middle or you're just gonna coat the rice. You're not gonna see those eggs. But they are cooking quick. Don't worry if some of the rice or the veggies mix in there, it's totally okay. But these cook very, very fast. All right, and this you definitely have to babysit. Nobody walks away from scrambling eggs. And take a look at them. Almost done. The pan has the heat in there, so I'm just gonna keep cooking them lightly. Well, working them in, there you go. And now these are fully cooked. So we're just gonna go ahead and mix them into a rice. If you don't like the eggs in there, by all means, you don't have to throw them in there. But for me, I feel like the original pork fried rice has those eggs and has sprouts. So I do love to add them in, even with the ham, when we don't have pork. Kind of like the same thing anyway. Beautiful. And I do see some oil at the bottom of the pan, which is going to be great because it's going to really fry up this rice. Oh, that looks gorgeous, you guys. There you go, pork fried rice, guys. So we're gonna just throw that right back on the flame. We are gonna set up our timer for another two minutes. Let's say three, so it really fries up this rice, okay? And when we're done with those three minutes, we're going to shut down our flame, 
we're going to move our pan and we are going to let it cool down for a couple of minutes so that we may come back to our favorite part. We get to eat some of this. Cheers. Up next. All right, guys, we are back for our favorite part. We get to eat. So let's show you the general towels. Delicious. All that sauce, veggies and chicken mm, with those sesame seeds. Here is our stir fried rice. It's beautiful. And I bet you this is far more than three servings. Ah, all right, guys, time to serve. So, you know, I like to make it pretty. So we're going to go ahead and just pack in the stir fried rice into this clear container. Oh, I love it. I see the pieces of peppers, onions, the ham. So now let's go ahead and pack it in. We're going to grab our trusty dish, tilt it, me, tap, and done. Next, let's rotate these. General towels. Oh, so delicious. So let's go ahead and grab a nice portion of that. Let's give it a good stir though so it's coated in all that sauce. Beautiful. And let's turn that to the other side. Don't forget, let's make this pretty, though you don't need to. And I'm just going to scoop that up and place it right here. Let's make sure we're scooping up some of those veggies too. They are delicious. Oh, you guys, what a great dish to make at home. It does take its effort, but once you get it down, it just comes back to you any other time that you go to make it, promise. What else do we want to top this off with? Maybe a little more chicken? Yeah, this is my husband's portion, so let's make this nice and big. And look at that. I'm going to add a couple of little carrots for color and for the crunch. But you guys, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Mwah! And as always, you guys know I always steal a bite. So let's go ahead and show you. Check it out, you guys. We have our pork fried rice. And our general Tao's chicken with some carrots and broccoli and sesame seeds and all its glory. <laughs> Let's take a bite. Let's start with that rice. Mmm. Oh, you guys. That was just enough soy sauce, too. Let's never oversalt our food. Let's enjoy it. And I am going to go in. Let me pick it out of my finger because it's hard to pick out. But, mmm. Oh, yeah. Mmm. I'll dare to say that this tastes better than the one that we ordered. Whoa. Cheers. Oh, so delicious, you guys. What? Once again, thank you so much for joining in on another episode of Little Tika and Big Eats. I hope you guys enjoy this dish and make it at home. Share it with your family and friends. And please don't forget to comment, to subscribe, to like, to send pictures. I really appreciate your time, you guys. And I hope you enjoy yourselves today and every day. Cheers. Until next time. Ciao.